You've all got what? Gay view. Gay view. Yeah. Are they like Google glasses or something? You can you put you put your glasses on and you're like, I think I'll look through gay view. I saw shouting Dave Hughes. He said Dave Hughes. Dave Hughes. It's Dave Hughes. He shouted Dave. Can't you understand your Australian accent, punt? Fucking said Dave Hughes. I said Google glasses with gay view. Uh, sorry, Dave, is that your name? Yeah. Aren't you a famous comedian, Dave? No, oh, Dave, I'm talking to you. Stop fucking talking to me, mate. <laughs> hey? Hey? Dave, you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next act on tonight, he runs the room, he is the room, he's, he's created this, he's created you. Yeah. <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not Jesus. Jesus, Adam and Eve created you, Jesus was a byproduct of that. But please welcome to the stage. Start that applause from the back of the room and welcome to the stage, Ziggy! I knew I forgot something, but step over there. How are you guys doing tonight? Good, good. It's all nice to see you all here. Uh, obviously, I'm the professional that I am. I take notes, I board notes. Always. Class of professionalism. Anyways, my name is Ziggy. I have Parkinson's. I'm like Muhammad Ali. Felt like a hammer and sting like syphilis. <laughs> so Valentine's Day, I thought I'd be nice and get a shave. Spend the night in hospital. Nearly bled to death. <sighs> it was rough. The wife loves me. Yes, I'm married. I vibrate 24-7. No batteries needed. <laughs> the, see, the ladies like you understand that. Batteries are expensive these days. <laughs> Actually, the other day I was um, hanging my washing up and my neighbor he sticks his head over my wall and he's like, Yo, listen here, mate. Can um, you not do that naked? <laughs> I was like, yo, mate, this is my house. I do what I want. And he's like, dude, you know, but the wife saw you. I'm like, is it my fault that the wife likes what she sees? <laughs> She's like, and he's like, look, I get it. You're a good looking dude. I'm like, whoa, whoa, buddy. I don't swing your way, at least your wife has a mustache. She's Greek. He's like, listen, please don't do it in the front yard. I suppose I have to, you know, what not. Um, the best advice I've ever received from my grandfather was uh, never mix Viagra, sleeping pills, and laxatives on the same night. You never know what's gonna kick in first. And I know that because I walked in on my grandfather on the toilet, fast asleep with a heart on. <laughs> There's just not enough tequila in the world to <coughs> get that out of my head. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. The most important lesson I've got to share with you is, don't use deep heat as lubricant. <laughs> or toothpaste. <clears throat> Things you shouldn't do when drinking. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm a parent, I have children, yeah I know, Woo! but um, uh, my oldest daughter, she's a dancer and she was making me listen to some horrible, horrible screeching noises, Ed Sheeran, you might have heard of him, I know she's got a thing for changes, and um, she turns to me and she goes, Dad, what's anal bleaching? Uh, well, sweetheart. You know when grown men have more brains, uh, more money than brains, you know what, phone your mother, she's had it done. So the first thing she did is when we got to her house, she jumps out and she goes, Mom, Mom, what's anal bleaching? My wife, ex-wife, looks at me and she goes, well, sweetheart, look how white your African father is. <laughs> <laughs> it works. But um, anyways, like I have a little bloke, he's, he's three years old, and we were watching a very important educational video, Dora the Explorer, and um, he leans into my and his sweet little angelic voice, he's like, shh, you don't want to make me angry. I was like, the hell did you just say to me? He's like, shh, you're going to die soon. The joke's on you, buddy. You're paying for the funeral. <laughs> he shut up real quick. Um, yeah, as I said, I've, I've got three kids, but 
my wife is currently dieting, and she's for once she's like, this time you're gonna diet with me. Apparently, uh, I might be <clears throat> too dead, but so um, so we're eating a lot of vegetables and fruit, and vegetables create create methane. So she's like, something has died in you. Yeah, my will to live. <laughs> but you might have picked up I'm South African, and uh, when you tell people that you're South African, you know. People ask these questions about the crime and have I ever been mugged and whatnot. You know, it reminds me of the first time I got mugged. It brings back some bad memories. It was in Rockingham. <laughs> Walking home from the swinging pig, this guy jumps out with a knife. Saw his knife, got a little aroused. Like, mm, he's going to make me a sandwich. I could go for a sandwich. But South African trick, always carry a poor wallet with you, so I gave it to him. He felt so bad for me, he gave me a 20. <laughs> so Friday night I walk around rocking on for show, make about 800 bucks, <laughs> and two points of meth. Obviously I'm not a user, so I'll be sitting in the parking lot after the show, if anyone's interested. <laughs> Thank you very much guys, you've been awesome. Ziggy! <laughs> 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 <laughs>